Mm -hmm. In the recent video, we introduced the use of a multi-power LED driver to match a particular LED lamp on hand, and we managed to relight the lamp with additional dimming function. In this video, we want to reinforce the message to show how easy it is to use the multi-power LED driver to match two LED lamps with very different electrical specifications and to achieve similar performance. This Philips downlight is really nothing more than an LED panel. Inside the fixture, there's the lens, a 5 1 watt LED PCB, and which is attached to the heatsink. There's no other electronics inside. Okay. And on the case, okay, the, dis the description shows that this lamp consumes 5 watt at a driving current of, of 350 milliamp. In other words, the lamp runs approximately at 14 volt. Now this is another LED panel that we used in the last video. Okay. From the previous measurement, it's a 12.5 watt lamp and requires approximately 310 milliamp. In other words, the, this lamp is about 40 volt. The voltage is about three times higher than the Philips downlight, so except the driving current, the lamps are certainly very different indeed. Now, multi-power LED drivers are common in market and usually comes with a 1 to 10 volt control interface. Here we have three multi-power LED drivers, the LCM series from Minwell. The LCM25, LCM40, and also LCM60. Ranging from 25 watt, 40 watt, and 60 watt, and each has its own output range. Now, since both of the lamps run approximately at 350 milliamp and has an input voltage that falls within the LCM25 output, we can set the output current according to the table shown here. And we already have our 1 to 10 volt controller connected to the dimming input port which means that the dimmable lamp will be light up as soon as we complete the connection. Now let's try with the Philips 5 watt downlight. Okay, now you can see we now have a dimmable 5 watt downlight. Let us remind you about the minimum trim option, okay, the minimum trim option, that to adjust the minimum brightness level, you would need to first have the lamp dimmed to the current lowest level, okay, before you use a screwdriver to make fine adjustment like this. Okay, and once it's set, we have redefined the overall dimming range from the new minimum to the maximum light output. Now, similarly, let's also try with the 12.5 watt LED panel and see the result. Okay, we have now connect the 12.5 watt LED panel. And once again, we have a dimming function added to this downlight. And now it's quite common that people don't pay attention to the polarity of the dimming port and mix up the dim pass and the dim minus terminals. And if you connect in reverse, you'll see no dimming effect at all. So. 
If you do find such situation once you connect the 1 to 10 volt dimmer with the driver, please double check the dimming port connection and make sure the dim plus and dim minus terminals are connected correctly. And here we have the other two LCM models. This LCM40 okay, has the lowest output current of 350 milliamp and the lowest output voltage of 40 volt. So we can also use this model for the connection with the 12.5 watt lamp but not with the Philips downlight which is 14 volt. And by the same token the LCM60 is for a uh, higher power rating equipment and we won't connect it here. And for the best better efficiency we we'll suggest to go for the power rating that matches the driver with the lamps on hand. Now let's change the topic to look at the 1 to 10 volt dimming control with the PCM6024 which is this LED driver. As a 60 watt LED driver model for 24 volt constant voltage LED strip light on Minwell. Here we actually have a 2 meter long of 300 lumen output 24 volt LED strip and our DZ1G110 connected together. Okay. As the, 20, as the 24 volt strips light consumes much less current than the 12 volt counterpart and hence less current consumed by the wires at the run, as it runs, the connection distance be, can be much longer and this is one of the reasons the 24 volt strips are getting more popular than the 12 volt strips in application. Please make sure you don't use the 24 volt driver on the 12 volt LED strip because this may cause fire. Now. As we dim, sorry, as we dimmed, the LED strip. Okay, it's important to highlight that there's no audible noise coming from the LED driver. However, this is not always the case as different combinations on the LED driver and dimmer might generated bus, bus sound with some 1, volt, 1 to 10 volt dimmer and vice versa. And to show that's the case, let's also connect our dimmer with a different 24 volt LED strip light driver. Okay, now we now connect another LED 24 volt LED strip driver at the back. This one here. Okay, and we start dimming. So in the middle range, you actually can hear some audible noise. Okay. Now. So it's funny that some people who have hassled by the bus noise eventually purchase the waterproof drivers to avoid the problem, while well, they really should look for a better dimmer driver combination instead. Although the 1 to 10 volt dimmer is very simple in design, it's a key to get the right product qualification for the dimmer. In conclusion, we have shown how to use the same multi LED driver for two lamps with very different electrical spec. Although the multi-power LED drivers are very flexible, it's still necessary to always check the equipment specification before connect. To repeat, don't connect a 24 volt LED strip light driver with your 12 volt strips. And this would conclude our video here. To learn more about our dimming technology and product benefits, Please check out other videos in the series. Once again, thank you for watching.